We made love. We made love. That's Who you made love with? Diddy, Bow Wow, um, Buster Rhymes. <laughs> You just told me you see Buster and the team. I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkosh Kushmash. You gave me the Ooshkosh Muaf, the Shushmash. In a recent clip, Orlando Brown dropped some jaw-dropping news, claiming he had a romantic past with a bunch of famous faces in the music biz. He dropped names like Drake, Usher, Busta Rhymes, and Bow Wow. Now, we've all heard the wild tales like this in the music industry, but they usually make us raise an eyebrow. What really grabs attention here is Orlando spilling the tea on Drake and Usher, two giants in today's music world. You smashed Drake? Uh, no, I never smashed. Oh, you made love to Drake. And, and, um, uh, Cat Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Even with Drake and Usher riding high in the music world, Orlando's bombshells have left folks scratching their heads, wondering if there is any truth to his tales. It's not rare to hear someone spill the beans on celebs, but the thin evidence and Orlando's shaky rep may have some people doubting his word. Meanwhile, disturbing charges are surfacing against Diddy, hinting at a hidden circle of predators in Hollywood. Orlando Brown, once a star on Disney's That's So Raven, and no stranger to personal struggles, has stepped up to share his story. Uh, battling mental health and addiction issues, Orlando has lately shown signs of a real turnaround. After a mental health check earlier this year, he's been candid about his road to recovery. Yet his childhood star background makes some question his reliability when he speaks out. Previous statements made by Orlando regarding Diddy in the entertainment industry have been brought back into the spotlight as a result of allegations made against Diddy regarding the severe exploitations of young talent. Orlando brought up the issue of alleged networks of power players in Hollywood preying on young artists and actors once more in a recent conversation with Cam Capone News. This conversation took place shortly after Diddy reached a settlement with a serious lawsuit. Again, I just feel like this man should... It, it, God bless that young man. Send him healing energy. The focus is now on Orlando's own experiences as a child actor and whether he fell prey to Diddy and others suspected of exploiting industry newcomers. Orlando hasn't shied away from accusing Diddy of being part of a group exploiting young stars. Adding to the intrigue, Sloane Bella, a known celebrity medium, made headlines for her spot-on prediction about Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, aligning eerily with the anniversary of Kim Porter's death. Porter, Diddy's ex and mother to all three of his kids, allegedly knew of disturbing events at Diddy's parties and was rumored to be planning a tell-all. These revelations peel back the curtain on the entertainment industry's darker corners. Sloane Bella's insinuations that Justin Bieber might have fallen prey to the harsh realities of the entertainment world have fueled a further gossip about Diddy's murkier ties to Bieber and Usher. Orlando Brown, once a rising talent with roles in three Disney hits like the Proud Family, Bill Moore, and especially as Eddie Thomas in That's So Raven, stood out among his contemporaries. That's So Raven hit a major milestone as Disney's first show to crack 100 episodes. But after that, the curtains closed in 2007 and Orlando's life spiraled, starting with substance busts in Houston that same year. Transitioning to music didn't bring the success he hoped for as legal issues including DUIs in 2011 and 2012 led to jail time for ignoring court directives. In 2014, a disturbing audio clip surfaced, allegedly capturing Orlando threatening a woman and her family, deepening his post-Disney troubles. Initially, Orlando's team denied it was him on voice tape, yet Orlando later claimed the woman was a stalker causing trouble, though he faced no charges due to lack of evidence. It was clear Orlando was battling substance usage and unresolved issues. In brighter news, Orlando seems to be on the upswing, landing minor roles like a cameo in 2015's Straight Outta Compton and a part in American Bad Boy with Cat Williams. His 2015 appearance on The View for a That's So Raven reunion showed him in a hopeful light, sparking optimism for his recovery. Despite these hopeful moments, though, Orlando's journey didn't improve as hoped. He continued to struggle with his childhood traumas, and in February 2016, an altercation with his girlfriend led to charges of domestic mistreatment and substance possession. The public felt for Orlando, understanding that the depth of his struggles were tough. After a jail stint, his family's intervention got him into rehab, though he left after just a week. His mental health seemed to worsen, highlighted by a video of him barefoot and arguing with a homeowner. As an illustration of his ongoing struggles, Orlando made some bizarre claims in an interview with Dr. Phil in 2018. These claims included the fact that he was Michael Jackson's son. Also, Orlando appeared super confused about the names of his children. My, my father was Michael Jackson, great Michael Jackson. So. Your, your father was Michael Jackson? Mm-hmm. How, how do you know he's your father? Well... 
Orlando Brown's visible confusion over his children's names have also added a layer of personal turmoil to the public persona. I wanna... And how old are your kids? Um, I got a two-year-old, four, uh, two-year-old, uh, five, no, see a five-year-old, um, I think he's eight. No. In recent interviews, Orlando has been dropping bombshells about the entertainment industry, touching on alleged rituals and predatory behaviors. Yet his erratic behavior during these discussions raises red flags about his mental health and possible substance use. Some think Orlando's unpredictable actions might be a deliberate tactic to expose Hollywood's sinister side without facing serious backlash. On the Cam Capone News Network, Orlando hinted at a dark underbelly of the industry, suggesting that disturbing practices and sacrifices lurk behind its shiny exterior. But he approached these revelations with caution, signaling fear for his own safety. Orlando's careful way of sharing hints at the dangerous waters he's navigating holding back deeply troubling information he's reluctant to fully unveil. In another talk on the same platform, he dialed up his claims, specifically calling out the Balenciaga scandal and pointing out alleged sinister symbols in the brand's controversial ads, referring to something he called panda eyes. Orlando's willingness to probe deeper into the Hollywood's hidden, possibly harrowing truths suggests a readiness to confront these issues head on. When you see black eyes, like a uh, blue face and you know, like that, he got beat up, but he didn't get beat up where you thought he got beat up. He got beat up somewhere else. In a recent statement, Orlando Brown went even further and accused some parents of young Hollywood stars of willingly exposing their child to the seedy underbelly of the entertainment industry. This disturbing assertion is similar to statements made by former child star Corey Feldman, who also has attempted to shed the light on the more negative aspects of the entertainment industry in Hollywood. Corey's motives and mental stability have also been called into question by some members of the public, despite the fact that he's made numerous attempts to expose the truth with an unwavering commitment. Corey's history with drugs has also been used to undermine him, despite the fact that he insists that his problem stems from severe mistreatment and manipulation in the industry during the height of his career. Corey began his career as an actor when he was only three years old and worked with major studios such as Disney and Nickelodeon. However, in the late 1980s, he began to abuse substances, which ultimately led to serious addiction. During his time in rehab in 1990, he reportedly disclosed to his therapist, Marlene Nadell, the mistreatment he had endured while working in the entertainment industry. However, the media tends to focus on his history of drug use in order to cast doubt on his reliability. In spite of Corey's efforts to disclose his experiences, many people have been led to question his assertions as a result of media portrayals. A similar wave of skepticism is being directed towards Orlando Brown. When he was being interviewed, he also brought up Diddy on multiple occasions, and he's made serious allegations regarding his interactions with the music superstar. The attempts that Orlando makes to call out what he considers to be truths about the entertainment industry are frequently met with skepticism, in part because of his own troubled past and behavior. This is similar to what Corey experiences too, a challenging dynamic that arises when talking about allegations or mistreatment and misconduct in Hollywood seriously and is highlighted by the pattern of downing those who speak out and citing their personal struggles to discredit their claims. You gave me the Uska Smooth, the Smooth Smash, Diddy. Yeah, son. You know what I mean? Due to the fact that the majority of people interpreted Orlando Brown's initial mention of Diddy in the interview as a joke, it quickly went viral, which resulted in a flurry of memes and laughter across various social media platforms. The manner in which people perceive Orlando's remarks, on the other hand, is beginning to shift as a result of the revelation of additional unsettling allegations against Diddy. Many have been taking Orlando's words super seriously and are happy with the fact that he's getting some attention. One fan wrote, Orlando Brown being validated in 2024 is not what I expected, but I think it's exactly what the world needs. Now, there is a growing sense of seriousness surrounding Orlando's words, and many people are wondering if Orlando was alluding to his own distressing experiences as a child actor who was involved with influential personalities in the world of show business.